Okay, the rumbling is going on again. It's about 7.30 in the morning. 7.44. It disappeared, Mars. What did? The trail that was making that trail went all the way up to there, and it just disappeared again. Okay, I'll put some hands on you. That we began hearing and feeling a very loud vibration outside. Uh, we really didn't acknowledge it at the time. But a year and a half later, the vibrations and the rumblings have become so intense that it's disrupted our daily lives. Uh, the rumblings begin almost immediately in the morning and proceed throughout the evening, getting stronger in intensity. I live in South Windsor. Uh, we started hearing some of the rumbling noises in about February. And then in time, I started noticing greater frequency and patterns, particularly in the evenings, um, where this noise was occurring, and uh, it really culminated in an incident uh, at the end of May, May 31st, I was watching a, a basketball game and it was incredibly loud, the vibrations, you could feel them coming through the house and, uh, and through the windows. We went out to see what it was and it was just so intense. And as a result of that, I, uh, I got involved, I contacted the Ministry, Ministry of the Environment to find out what the issue was and to find out what they knew about it and uh, made some uh, further efforts to, uh, to get the federal government to provide some monitoring equipment. Uh, back in uh, March, I started to receive uh, one or two phone calls about some consistent rumblings and vibrations in, in neighborhoods in and around uh, uh, the ward. Uh, specifically around Rankin and Totten and other areas like that. Um, at the time, I probably would have thought it was just some sort of isolated construction project in the area, but it then escalated uh, quite significant over the next uh, month and a half, two months or so. I started hearing it from all over the uh, western part of, uh, of my ward, uh, Ward 10, and then started to hear a lot more from residents uh, all over the southern part of, uh, of Windsor and uh, west parts of Windsor and LaSalle. Uh, so I then, at this point, uh, decided to get together with some residents visit their homes and, uh, and start pinpointing on a map exactly where these uh, these vibration rumblings uh, noises are coming from. Uh, last night around uh, between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. I visited those homes, visited some areas and uh, it was a real um, strong uh, vibration that had come from the ground. It was a synthetic noise. It's really there. Um, you personally experienced it? I personally experienced it. I, I sat in, and the person in the house at the time shut off the air conditioner, shut off the furnace, shut off the water uh, main, shut off the electricity and turned everything off and around the house and uh, if you put your palm to uh, the hardwood floor you could feel uh, some sort of synthetic, uh, synthesi synthesizing uh, uh, a little bit of a noise vibration. It's very weak. Uh, it grows a little bit but it's consistent and it goes back down. Uh, it's real, it's there, it's present, and I think that this issue needs to be taken uh, much more serious. There needs to be an investigation. It's out there. Uh, it's getting, uh, complaints are rising, and uh, it started with one or two people, and now it's gotten to hundreds and hundreds of people across the southern west part of the city and uh, uh, even bordering into the south.
Yeah. Okay, I've got some hands on you. 